Many airplanes are more controllable on a strong crosswind landing with partial or no flaps. Touchdown speeds are higher, giving better control at touchdown, and tail low touchdowns are much easier to accomplish. If using less than full flaps, we do have to ascertain that there's more than enough runway to accommodate the landing at higher speed. If there's any question, the solution is in seeking out a longer runway or one more directly aligned with the wind. The reason it's important to have the airplane stabilized as the approach into the runway is reached is so you'll be dealing with a known quantity for the landing. It's not a perfect world, though. Any gusty day will convince you of that. And we all know that making a perfect landing on a gusty day can be elusive. The reason lies in the fact that the airspeed will be variable in the gusts, meaning we have to deal with the airplane and with the gust, not a stabilized situation. We likely add on some extra speed for the gusts and really have three choices when we flare and begin the landing. The wind will not change at that moment, so we're left with the extra speed used for the approach. Or the wind will abate and we will lose speed. The final choice is that the wind will increase and so will the indicated airspeed. 